Let's now look at star topology. A star topology is the single most common topology you're going to see in a wired local area network. So if we're using ethernet cables, there's a pretty good chance we're using a star topology. The star has a feature that at the center of it, logically, we have a switch or some other device, but usually a switch. So there's our switch. And then off of that switch, we can put several clients. And of course, the size of your network depends on the size of your switch here. You have small ones that have maybe four or five ports, and you can have large ones that have hundreds of ports. So our switch works much like the hub before, except that it has memory inside, which makes it smarter. So now let's say that we're gonna label this guy A. If client A wants to send data, the switch is gonna receive it, and it's actually going to inspect the data that comes in and say, where is this addressed to? Who should I send this to? And if it is bound for D, then the switch makes a decision and it says, all right, I know that D is attached to this port and I'm gonna send it out this port and this port only. So B and C and E, they do not get a copy, which is good because now we have improved security over a bus network and we no longer have collisions. Everybody can talk at once and the switch acts like a traffic cop. So if A wants to send data to D, while simultaneously B wants to send data to E, they can both do that at the same time. Data will never collide because we use different wires. The data coming down this way and the data going up this way uh, will never actually see each other. 